Hey guys, it's Kaydeja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 41 of Healing Good Pretty Here. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Huh. Oh. <laughs> it has been a day. <laughs> Are we really gonna? My thing is gonna leave. <laughs> it really is. Okay. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Yeah, because she's hella in love with you. I mean, that would make the most sense. Why he look like a Digimon or something? Like, oh my god. <laughs> my Otis one? <laughs> so you telling me this is how he's doing? <laughs> Shut up. Is that him coming from lava or some ish? You gonna dive in lava? She gonna dive in lava. Like, mm -hmm. She's like, oh my god, King Yogan Sama! <laughs> I am so dumb. Like, oh my god, the th I, I don't know. I feel like when I when it's late at night and when I have like a couple of things left to watch, I am so stupid. I will say some of the dumbest things. And I'd just be like, yep, yeah, mm -hmm. let me make myself laugh for a couple of minutes. Hell, I maybe made you laugh as well. I don't know. Laughter is the best medicine. <laughs> but who knows what the heck. I mean, we're... From the preview of last week... Um... Didn't it say we were possibly going to see his original form? I, I don't even remember. I mean, we got like four more episodes with the show before we're done, which is sad. But I get it. Hell, they might even. <laughs> this is what I feel like they might do, especially when um the DVD sales come out, cause like I, they probably have all of them. Um, the two or. I think it's three episodes they weren't able to release. I think they're going to put them on DVD for Tran, maybe? I don't know. Hell, Funimation did that with the ones within and I just found out today and I'm like, ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that everything though? Oh, no it's not. Baby still foot. Young man. Excuse me. Weirdo. Is that? Oh, that is him. Okay. Uh, 
Oh my god, no, these are gonna be the last few episodes with Dada and Kobayashi! No! Oh my god! And so Kobayashi season 2? It's just, okay, something just tells me that, okay, Dada for the whole, most of the entire, um, series of this show has he's been the front burner but then at the same time he's been the type where he's like I'm gonna look on the sidelines I feel like him and King Byogen are hella about to do something together where they are the final villains and the girl who's happily in love with King Byogen plus um the muscly buff buff, buff Khadija buff queen <laughs> the buff dude like they might be destroyed by next week or even today I wouldn't even be surprised if he gets defeated today Multitask, everyone can do that. Because somebody is about to mess up, I can just feel it. Girl, you don't. You want to talk? How much can you contribute? She, oh, really? Honestly, let's really talk about this. The three of them, bear. No, 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 no. Daru, in my opinion, has done the most. These two haven't. I'm sorry. They've done like some effort, but like not to the point where it's like, oh my god, like yes, they've done everything. Like, thank you, thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was thinking they weren't going to turn back into ordinary humans. Because you know how, like, in some prettier shows that we've seen in the past. Oh, Monte. Oh, honey. Um, you know the the humans of whatever city the pretty cares are living in eventually find out their identities and ish. Yeah. Uh, hell, uh, Shindarire might be the other big bad for these last few episodes, because, oof. <laughs> Did we have to start with his feet, though? Is he a 
He's a bird. An eagle? A dragon? He just ugly. Yeah. So you just basically killed what's his face? No, you know what? He looks like a bat. Yes. <laughs> he ugly though. Like if we want to talk about the designs. Even the animal. I will say, I will say, like, still in my opinion, um, was her name Despair or Dis? The the woman, the villain from, from Go Princess, she still has like one of the best designs for villains. Well, for main main villains. Well, um, apparently he's back. That makes sense. So, hold on. Instead of you basically just killing him, you absorb his body kind of I don't know even like Dadu is in fear and something tells me you know Dadu might come into our side and be good like with Picario mm. oh, excuse me You would think that since they just use what most or all of their energy, specifically their powers, they would. Cause see, I've always wondered this with Pretty Cure for the longest time since I've watched the show every single freaking series from the beginning and ish. I mean, cause like okay, like Sailor freaking Moon, you know, there was like, like a point where Sailor Moon couldn't transform anymore because she was so freaking tired, and everyone else had to you know step up, especially my best girls. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, you know, y'all, all four of them got the crap knocked out of them. <laughs> Their transformation went away. And then what, three to five minutes later, we're okay, we can do this. Oh, I love anime so much. <laughs> Heck, I still need to watch the movie for this, but I don't think it's out yet. So that'll be like March, April, May. Heck, I don't even know if I'm going to react to the All Stars movie because I think the All Stars movie is already out. I don't remember. I'm a very busy chick and I don't always have time when I look for shit.
You would have thought that this thing would have been a little more tougher and harder for them to, you know, purify, but no. Okay. So you telling me they just left while you did that? It. That's some, you know, freaking witches five ish. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That or some mermaid melody is. <laughs> or some Tokyo Beauty is. She'd be like, hey, it's time for us to go while well, you know they do their final power. Well, at least they're not too mad. <laughs> oh. Me too. Today, or really, these last three episodes were hard on the girls. <laughs> Honestly, you deserve that, Hina. Exactly. Like, what if you were missing or anything? <laughs> He's just a big old teddy bear. <laughs> were they even home? Maybe they were out looking for you. Yeah, they were looking for you. Oh. oh. Don't make me cry over that. Oh. Oh, fry noodles. Mm. Do we really consider that a defeat, though? Uh, no! Okay. Daughter, let's think about this real quick before you answer. There you go. That's the big thing. You are still your own person. That wouldn't be fair. Oh, well, hell no. Nah. No. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. No, no. Oh my god, guys, Kobayashi might be dead. <laughs> Unless you know, Nanako go on her run. Excuse me. 
yeah, that's definitely gonna happen. He's gonna show up, or she. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, he, he's not going to want to fight you. Can we just talk for five minutes? That Aoi Yuki greatness. And of course, you don't want that. But she'll get sick again, though. Cody, I need you to back up. I don't need you to fall. Go over there. Go over there. Go over there. Okay. Um. I don't even know what to say about this episode. Um, this ending got very dark. I mean, the last time that I want to say this got dark, what in it because it dealed with Grace and um, Dado, of course, again, especially when we found out that he was the reason of why, you know, she got uh, well, not the reason that she, he she got sick, but he was created because of her and stuff like that and fighting like that. Those were like one of the two darkest moments for Nadoka, but this, you know, even though he's now needing her help and she says no to him. What the f You serious? <laughs> oh god if you would have told me that after I watched episode 1 cried over Nadoka and being all like oh my god I have a character that like I can so well not finally but still relate to because of the fact is she was sick I was sick when I was younger and that we would have done th this um is she gonna make herself a oh, fuck no! Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Freaking. Dust. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Shit, 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 Oh god. I think I know. The, I, if I know. The feeling that I have right now, and if I think it's going to go the route that I think it's going to go route, he's going to die next week. He, It's just, it, the way that the last few minutes of this episode, plus that preview, <laughs> oh, I'm in danger right now. I am scared. And, oh, God. Oh, my God. No, I don't want this. As much as I have my, you know... I don't really have a love-hate relationship with Dada. I mean, because it's mainly because, you know, voiced by Miss Kobayashi. 
And I still can't believe that that is just, you know, <laughs> you can voice that character. And I do like him and sympathize with this character and such. But seeing, you know, the roles reverse where Daru in the beginning was evil, like pure evil, and Nadoka is like pure good, the goodness of her art, her heart. And lovable, almost like hope. And he's like, despair. I'm going into Danganronpa territory right now um, with this situation, BTW. But in that moment where he is like crawling to her, especially when he ran and he jumped up and, the, and she would, he was trying to almost co have a conversation with her, but she runs away. And then eventually, you know, he falls and you can see that he's hurt and she sees that he's hurt. And him even crawling to her, the roles are reversed. It seems like now in this little moment, Daru is the one who is just helpless and everything. And now Nadoka slash Kira Grace is being Daru in the beginning where he was like, I want nothing to do with you. Yeah, I'm the one, you know, because of you, I was the one, uh, the reason why I was created. But she doesn't want to help him because, of course, if she helps him, she's going to get sick again. And now with her not eating in this preview, you're making yourself sick again. And it might be worse. Not to say that it'll be like death defying, but it could be worse. It's a possibility. Come on. think. Th these are situations that happen to people every single day. So next week's episode might make or break the relationship that I'm looking at these two because I, mm, God, did I really have, I kind of shift these two, like, I want to say the first three, four episodes of this show, but then after that, I was like, eh, I was like, I kind of, I like their relationship, but not as, like, a shipping thing, because, oh my bad, not everything needs to be shipped, this is also something that I've learned about with one of my other favorite shows of last year, um, especially when it's, like, someone who is a murderer and the other one is just you know a precious baby girl that we love so much that you know died for the people and was like hmm Akadamas are bad the executioners are just as bad kill them um but uh, looking at that relationship plus this relationship is like yes not everything needs to be um shippable and I may get some hate for that but that's just you know my opinion and a couple other opinions but like I said, honestly, this feels like this is going to be Daru's finale. That by the end of episode 42, of course, because I can't look at that because the freaking video. By episode 42, he will be gone. And then 43, 44, and 45, the last three episodes, will be probably a three-parter finale of the girls going against What's-Her-Face and King Bugen. I have no idea. But... <laughs> so but like okay let's say the show they defeat him this is 41 it's 42 uh, okay in episode 43 let's say that so for the last like two two episodes that we have left as i said these last few weeks with getting the numbers wrong and everything um y'all just gonna chill out for two weeks and then we're gonna have that heartfelt goodbye in the last episode i'm gonna be crying over a puppy dog and some mascots and then you know we're finally gonna have um what the heck was her name in tropical ruse oh my god i forgot these girls names <laughs> um no not flamingo Miss Little, we're going to call her Miss Rainbow because she looked like a god dang rainbow with her hair. Um, I literally cannot remember her name. Of course, she's going to pop up in the last episode, of course, because it happens. But honestly, yeah, that's really the only thing that I can think about from that preview. But the episode was good. The lessons, I love the fact that their parents did get on them because, yeah, they never called anything and... We've never really truly seen that in other series of Pretty Cure where the parents are hella worried about their kids. And, you know, if the kids come home, the parents are like, hold up. Where the freak you been? Like, you ain't called, you ain't text. Like, I understand, you know, there was a monster or something coming, but you could have at least said something. I do like what they're what they're kind of doing with this show. I mean, because, like, what mainly a lot of anime is, um, the parents are non-existent in the show because this is the same conversation that my mother and I had with a lot of, um, 
CW shows or like teenage shows because my mom because <laughs> she always says because she my mom recently got into the show The Secret Circle which was one of my personal favorite shows at the time when it was airing and uh <laughs> So she was, she was like halfway done with it. And there was a scene that came up. And my mom, like the, the first thing that I heard from my room, where the heck these parents at? And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm thinking, I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, mommy, it's a CW show. Parents are non existent sometimes, but um, they'll be there, but not every single time. And that's kind of the same thing with some of the Pretty Cure shows. I mean, there are some seasons of Pretty Cure where the parent is there for either the main characters or the other curious as like a regular parent and guiding them the right way or we just get a parent who's just you know they're the whole entire like 40 something episodes <laughs> but it's the same thing with kind of really any other um anime series but yeah this was good i enjoyed it a little sad that you know what's the space is now gone and we only have two people left out of our three um but anything can happen next week. We won't know until then. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Charles episode 41 of Healing Good Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, <clears throat> next Saturday, Sunday, for episode 42. Bye, guys.